Hello and welcome to another Most Haunted Extra. This time, Carl and Stuart take on the formidable Dorchester Prison. Built on the site of a medieval castle, Dorchester Prison was completed in 1795 at a cost of £18,000, about two and a quarter million pounds today. This sprawling and ominous building was built with a central atrium with multi-level cell block wings radiating from this central hub. Over the years, buildings were added and changed to be able to accommodate the amount of prisoners being sent there. 33 people were hanged in Dorchester from 1800 to 1941. The last public hanging here took place on the 10th of August 1858 when James Seal was hanged at the prison gates for the murder of Sarah Ann Griffey. The last woman to be hanged in public at the prison was two years earlier when Elizabeth Martha Brown was executed on the 22nd of July 1856 by William Culcraft in front of an estimated 3,000 people for the axe murder of her husband, John Brown, who she thought was seeing another woman, Mary Davis. The famous writer Thomas Hardy was present at Brown's execution. At just 16 years old, it made such an impression that the hanging of Tess in the 1891 novel, Tess of the D'Urbervilles, was based on what he saw. All public hangings were abolished in 1868. From then on, they were a private affair, conducted within the walls of prisons. The last execution at Dorchester Prison was Private David Jennings, a 21-year-old soldier, on the 24th of July 1941 for the murder of Albert Farley. In more recent times, 2006, a random drugs test of inmates revealed that 25% of all those tested proved positive for cannabis, heroin and other opiates. With a great deal of work and dedication from the prison service, this alarming report was acted upon and the prison won an award for the most improved prison for 2008. However, with increasing costs, the prison was effectively closed in 2013 and formally closed in January 2014. Plans were drawn up for a redevelopment scheme, but it was revealed that many bodies of those executed or died in prison were still buried within the grounds, delaying the site's rejuvenation. With such a history, no wonder this foreboding structure is said to be full of phantoms and spirits from its past. Cell doors slam with regular occurrence, figures and dark shadows are seen walking the deserted prison blocks, sounds and cries of those incarcerated have been heard all over the building and a dark entity is said to stalk those who enter. With this in mind, Carl and Stuart have one night to find them. The boys start outside the main block entrance. Here we are. At Dorchester Prison. Young Stuart Torrevel and myself. What a great place this is. How do you feeling, Stu? Excited. <clears throat> I've not felt this revved up and excited about a prison in a very, very long time. Um, this probably has to be the best so far. On views, anyway. An initial look when you look at the prison, it's got everything like you'd expect of a prison. And we've been to a many, you know, we've been to many prisons over the years, but this is, this is on another level. This is on another scale completely. The thing is, it's vast. It, it's so vast because you've got, obviously you've got this huge building behind us and the, the big windows at the top are uh, where the chapel is apparently. And there's, I can't see it from down here, but there's a cross in the, in the windows. But the whole place, and we can't really do it justice from this one spot is huge. You've got a wing sort of in the shadows over there. You've got this other building here, which I think is where the um, prisons first came in to, uh, to, be, to be looked at and what have you. But it goes right the way through there. It's, and it's horrible. It has a feeling about it, doesn't it, Stuart? It's not very depressive. Yeah. You, you literally do feel like you want to commit suicide. Yeah. I haven't done a crime yet. 
yet. Well, maybe later. I don't know. But that's, that's the impression debatable you're giving yourself. Minds. The people who would have stayed here are clearly made of a different kind of metal. We're not geared up for that, Carl. Well, well, I'm not. I, I couldn't do it. No, I couldn't. And, and I'll gladly hold my hands up and say I'm not man enough to serve time in one of these places. It's not, like, yeah, it's not about being man enough. It's about, you know, you're, you're stuck in this place where, I mean, I suppose if you've done the crime, you must think to yourself, well, I've been caught. But if, you, if you're innocent, that must be the most horrible thing ever. Right. And, and I'm, I'm assuming there probably would have been one or two people over the years who would have been innocent. Stuck oh, in crumbs here. Yeah. Right, let's go in. Let's go in, Park, you're right. Now, there are some lights on in here, not all over the place. Um, I'll flick it out of night vision now. So there are some of these sort of working lights and they go down there, wherever that goes. Turn your night vision off, Colonel, just to so have the battery. Um, so you've got this. It feels horrible already. Yeah. It really does, doesn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. See, they're doing a lot of building work here, as you can see. Obviously, I'm assuming these would have been cells at some point, but... What, this close to the front door? I don't know. The... Let's go through the main bit here. I'm desperate to get into this, the main throng of it. I'm only saying cells for the simple reason. They look like they should be. It's because of this. That's all. Just this yeah. architecture that you see, which all the cells up and down the UK have that design. But I guess. Probably officers. I mean, you see where the walls. There was a, a wall down there at one point. Right. But there would have been that many alterations over the years. Yeah. It's right. Hard to distinguish what was. And as you can see, as we get further into the prison, wow, look at that. That is something out of a, out of a horror film. Good grief. Oh, fuck, it's horrible. How do you feel? To be honest, I... <laughs> Look at the colours. I, I keep harping on about the colours in these prisons, but it, it just fills you with utter dread, doesn't it? It doesn't. It just fills you with complete terror. I see the point of the colours, but there's a lot of other things in here that fill me with more dread than the colours. This is going to sound petty, this car, but... Right you petty never. Detail, look, look at this Victorian-style handrail. The amount of people who would have had the hand oh, on yeah. there, murderers, rapists, you name it, that have all touched that at some point. Yeah. And put their hands up there. It's history. Plus it is. And we need to keep these places alive. As horrible as they are, they should be reminded to people not to commit crimes, I guess. Right. Now, this is very ha haunted. I've not heard anything yet. We've been in here for at least five minutes, and you're not thrown on the floor and <laughs> cut to crap <laughs> yet. Yet. Right. If if you're here, can you show yourself to us? Show us you're here. Make a noise. I'm guessing this would be called a rotunda, wouldn't it? This is like the central part. Yeah, I guess so. Where yeah. everything shoots off. Yeah. Come on, show yourself to us. Do you know what? We think. Huh? They look like showers at them, don't they? Uh, I'm hearing little knocks and stuff, but I don't know this prison very well. No. So I don't know if this prison is. That's an unnatural occurrence. Look, oh, at, these, look at these cells in the car. You've got the. You've got the perspex over the gates. And then you've got doors beyond the gates. For suicide watch, wouldn't it? Yeah. A whole wing dedicated to just to that. I still don't get it though. Have they got actual doors on? See, this is what I don't understand about this. If this is suicide watch, okay? Right, you shut that door. Yes. Yeah? Right? I'm on suicide watch, so you can see me, yeah? 
silly, yeah? But all I have to do is shut that door. Can't see me now. Yeah. Kind of defeats the whole object. But just see what I mean? That kind of defeats the object. So they must have had a way of securing these doors open. Yeah, there'll be a rhyme, the reason to what they are. To what they are doing, I guess. There's no serving hats on, is there? Sometimes they have a serving hat, don't they? Need to clean this lens, it's horrible. It's terrible. I can't describe the feeling in this place. Can you look, look at the ceiling? You saw this in the 70s. Bloody it wouldn't be loud now, would it? Comes with that caught fire. You're dripping on everyone. So nothing's changed in 2022. You know, it's and it shut down in 2013. Yeah, nine years, nine years ago. You do, you do feel like you've been transported back to the, the, the 60s almost, don't you? It's like being, it's really like being transported back into your front room. Yeah, holding this is nice. <laughs> Come on, can you do something? I'm going to go through, let's go through here. I'm going to go infrared into the dark. Let's see if they can't do something for us. Because the thing is, you and I could spend a good couple of hours just wandering around this place. A couple of weeks. Right. We're not going to do this justice tonight. No. It needs so much time here just to go down there. We're not going to come Right. Now we're going into the unlit bits. They've got a bit of extraneous light pouring in from back there. I where the young Stuart is. Why not let it on now? But. Where does all this go? Hello? Can you make a sound? Oh, no. It just goes through here, Stu. Bloody hell, it's like a warrant. And the other thing about this place, we won't get any settlers, Shouldn't be, I mean the only thing you might get is the odd bit of metal movement and yeah. Yeah, the mesh and stuff, but I wouldn't even think you'd get much of that. Hello? Jesus, I feel a claustrophobic I don't know where I am. What part of the prison am I in? Oh, fucking hell. Hello? Oh, it's the kitchen, the kitchen. Now, I was told that the kitchen was built on the old gallows. <sighs> They've done that in other prisons as well. Can you do something for us? Can you slam a door? Can you touch one of us? Horrible, isn't it? Even though we're in the kitchen, I feel freaked out. I shouldn't feel anything, in all honesty, apart from a little bit scared and nervous. Well, the fact that this used to be, so I'll be told, where the gallows was, you should feel freaked out. Because people died in here, in this space. Not in the kitchen, obviously, but... It would be interesting to know exactly to the point where the gallows were then. Yeah. You could literally stand there on the spot. Oh, this is oh, fucking up, so. <laughs> I almost fell over then. Do you, do you know any history then about this place? I know nothing at the moment, no, nothing. I don't know. I purposely haven't done any research because I didn't want to know until we'd finished what's gone on in here. Because I didn't want to have anything put in my mind of what it could possibly be. Bloody hell, it goes on through here, Stu. Hello? Uh, 
Uh, these are the yeah. Yeah, I don't think it looked in one of those. Because ain't no way out. Yeah, the locks are still on them. God, I tell you what, prison life must be so, so hard. I guess if you're, if you've done a crime, you deserve to be here. You deserve to take the punishment, I guess, but. Come on, if you're here, show yourself to us. Can you make a noise? the spirits who are hopefully here with us now. I'm going to introduce myself to you. My name is Stuart. My name's Carl. There's just the two of us in this prison and we're on the ground floor. We're just about to walk up this, these steel steps. If you can hear our voices and you can see us, can you please come and make yourself be known to us? We're not here to judge you in any way. We don't care what you've done, what crimes you've committed, or who you've murdered. We're not here for that. We're just here to come and communicate with yourselves. Hopefully you've, you've got a story that you want to share with us. If you're innocent, come and tell us. Can you slam a door? Walk around us? Or ideally if you can. Can you just talk to us? You don't have to try and scare us. Just talk to us. Tell us your story. Fucking hell, what did you do? Is there a piano in here? You, you, you're dead right, I know what you're saying. It wasn't a... Hang on, I'm just going to try this. Just, yeah, I was going to say. No, it wasn't that. Where's the piano? I heard it, but I didn't react to it because I didn't... <sighs> There's no piano in here, is there? What yeah. would the piano to be doing in a prison? Well, there might be one, I don't know. I've not seen one. Well, they they're not going to get. They're not all going to get together on a Friday night for a a sing song around the jamming, are they? But that does have a, an after effect when you hit it. But it was a proper. I know it was. It wasn't it that. Was a it was like a key, can, wasn't it? Can you do that again? Can you make another? If it's a piano sound you made it. Right, that was up there. That was again. That was up. Where the bloody hell is a piano in a? F I'm trying to stay in one spot. To I'm going to go up those stairs. Oh, there they are. The stairs are in. I'll go up these stairs. Right, you go up there. I'm going to wait round there. It was like just a one. Hello? Right, there are two landings. The thing is, Stu, they're not going to have a piano on a bloody landing. I mean, people are here for a punishment, not to rehearse for bloody. Britain's got talent. Although there's a few people a bit on that should be in here, maybe. Of crimes against music. What about saying, Dad? I'm just over to yeah, turn to your left. I mean where would you have a piano? You're not gonna have one in there. Unless there's a music room somewhere, but...
if there was, all that box going to be gone. That might be residual sound. And don't forget, whatever that noise was, it's going to echo through, isn't it? So by the time we've heard it, it may have changed somewhat. Yeah. Oh look, that's the that's the chapel. You want know, to sit outside? I hope you can see that. That's the and it has a cross in the window. You can't really see that. There is a red cross in the middle of that window. But you... have you got your torch on, Stu? You shine it on this window just so I can show the guys at home. Right, I'm going to go to normal vision. See that. There you go. See the blues and the, the red. And uh, how cool is that? <laughs> Fuck me. Whoa, piano. Oh, that was it, Carl. That's, that's it, that's the piano. Well, that just went off, and there's no one there. I, I, I've got. I was on that straight away. The keys are facing me, and it looks like one of the keys is down now as well. Have a look. There. Stop. You see the key? It looks like it's down from where I'm standing. That's it. Is it? Yeah, it is. Oh. Okay, so we found not only one piano, we found a, is that an organ? Is that on? No, the organ's not on. And that's in past history, that doesn't stop it playing though, does it? That was definitely a piano. Can you do it again while we're here? Come on. That's the third time we've heard that, and it happened while we were in here. Could it be the cold reacting to I the see, that's a good point. Do you know what, there's, there's, there's some very intelligent people out there who will probably tell us if that was the case, because it is cold here. Yeah. Can you see down there, okay? Oh, yeah, I've got the, but I don't know whether, <sighs> Whether that would no, make a noise? I'm no expert on the old ivories, but I know that can happen. Well, do you know what? If that is, that should happen constantly all night. We should constantly hear it. Yeah, that's true. This is true. But would it... <laughs> Just realise, it's what goes on in your head. Mayhem. Right. <laughs> well, why don't we, should we split up? Yeah. Where do you want to go? I, to be honest, I don't know where the fuck to go. I'm just <laughs> going to walk. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know the place well enough to say I'm going to go to A. I've just got to find somewhere and just keep walking. Right, so let's walk in opposite directions. If I you... hope I don't get these trousers pulled down in between. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why, Why is it that you keep going on about your trousers being pulled down when you're in a prison? Having your tweed whipped down, forcefully what? drawn forward, bent over one of those cold metal beds and boom, vigorously dry. All day I've put up with this when we come to see a prison. Right. So what, do you want to go into the main prison, Stu, and I'll go down there, or do you want to go down there and I'll go to the main prison? Makes no difference you to me. You tell me where to go, how's that? <laughs> I've been doing yeah, that for years. Know, well, what it, if you go through there, then you've got all the main, main prison there and yeah. all the, the blocks. I'm going to go down here. I don't know what's down there. Um, whatever it is, if there's nothing, I'll come and join you. If there's well, not, just I'll just carry on. It. it looks like a dead end. Oh, is it? Is it? Oh. I couldn't see properly. Oh no, no it isn't Carl. Oh, no. oh fuck, there's another load of cells. No. There's another load of bloody cells. <laughs> Jesus 
Right, okay, well I'm going to head. You go through there and I'll carry on here, I guess. Right, I'm going to, I'm not sure if you saw. Give us a shout if you need anything, Stu. I'm not sure if you saw this, so I'm going to give a go. Pan around. Find this bizarre. Because right behind me is... Um, where the chapel is, that's where we've just come from and we heard the, gu uh, the guitar, the piano. And then there's this, with obviously steps leading right up to the chapel. What a horrible place this is. The hardest thing for me to do is explain the atmosphere of when we're doing these. And um, atmospheres in prisons are never good. Because let's face it, prisons are only ever built for one thing. That's me on that. We're only ever built for negative things, and that's to keep um, criminals out of society. And I know there are some pretty nasty people in this place, like murderers and. You know, bog standard uh, burglars as well as sex offenders and all those nasty bastards. But the hard thing is, is you'd think every part of this would, would have the same feeling, but it hasn't. And this has a particular nasty feeling. It feels oppressive. It feels as though you're being watched without trying to sound too dramatic it actually does feel as though you're being stalked as though something is watching from the from the darkness it really isn't very nice are you here? Can you show me you're here? I know you're here because I can feel you. I can feel your presence. And I have to say, it's not very nice. Can you slam one of those doors? Come on, make a sound. Is that you that's just walked? I'm going to get up those stairs as fast as I can. I don't know how to get up. Cubicle. Sorry for going quick, but I just want to be sure that you were with me for this whole journey of knowing no one is up here. No one's in here. No one's in there. Fuck. Okay. If you are here and you've you're the person that just walked. Please, can you do it again? Please, can you show me that you're here? Touch me. I know this is very simple, but I'm trying to take you through 
this whole journey of going through these, showing that no one is in these bloody cells. So whatever walked up here has to be a phantom of sorts. I have no, there's no one in there. Okay, done it before, do it again. Walk towards me. Were you a nasty bastard? You were. Be nasty to me. Shit. There's a, I'm not sure if you can hear it, there's a bell going off outside. Worst time you can possibly have for a bell to go off. Come on, show yourself behind me. If you're here. Fuck me. Hello? That was a fucking door slamming and it was down here. There is nothing down here. See that? Nope. All these doors are open. Have we been in there? That's just a. Again. The doors are all open. The doors are open. Every door is open. It wasn't this close to me. I was up this end. They're all open. think <clears throat> what I need to do now I need to stop and I need to regroup with myself just gather everything that's just going on at this particular moment in my life <clears throat> I don't know <clears throat> you have to excuse my voice people it's a bit a bit croaky today. This is just chaos. Absolute chaos. Right. I just need to regroup with myself and just sort me. Sort the pants out because they're falling down. I'm having to use the light of this flare to see what I'm doing. I do, okay. I do have a torch on me, but. It's such a pain in the ass to be wringing it in and out of my pocket every two minutes, so sometimes you've just got to use what you've got at hand. That's called survival, folks. I 
I'm, to be honest, I'm, if I'm being completely honest, I'm, I'm lost for words. I, I really am truly lost for words. I don't know what to say. I don't know where to start because the vastness of this, it's on another level. How they built this, the architects of the day who built this, they must have been on something. They must have been taking their piss when they built this place. They must have been. Just to confuse everyone. Because I'm confused. It seems every where you walk, obviously there's doors everywhere, but then you go down a corridor, you go through a door, and then there opens up another, another area full of cells. And it's just like that, non-stop. It's just never-ending. But I suppose we've got to start somewhere. So if you guys at home want to pick a cell where I need to go into... Because they're all going to be pretty much the same. They're all going to be identical. But I've noticed on other wings, some of the cells are slightly different, depending on what the people are doing in prison and the severity of the crimes that have been committed. So, we'll just... Let's go a bit further up then, eh? See, there's nothing in there. Nothing at all. Let's get one with a bed in. No, nope, there's no bed in there. Fucking hell, what were they doing? Sleeping on the floors. <coughs> Got to be a cell with a bed in, surely. Oh, these are the showers. Oh. Right, Stu. Okay. Okay, guys. You know I'm here. I know you're here somewhere. I can't see you, though. And yet we've got more stairs that go up. Utter confusion. That's the only thing I can say. Hey, if these windows could talk, my goodness. I bet they've seen some things in the time, haven't they? These cells. Looks like a kitchen of some description. The level of activity that's gone on just in this cell alone. Thousands and thousands of prisoners have been laid up in this cell long before I was born. Long before I was born. Ooh. What was that? That could not have been that piano again. Right, we, that's where I've just walked in from all the way down there. Um, I can't remember where that chapel is now, but I'm not that far from it, but I've just heard another, it sounded like that piano key going again. Carl? You probably won't be able to hear me. Can you please play that piano again? Or just push down one of the keys? I heard that in the distance. I hope to Christ that the camera, the front mic on this camera picked that up. I don't know if it did, if I'm being completely honest. I really don't know, but I heard it. 
Ooh. Worst time you can possibly have for a bell to go off. Worst time you can possibly have for a bell to go off. That's one, two, three. That's four times now. Like I said before, I'm not sure because it's so cold in here. I'm not sure if it's reacting to some of the strings on the piano. Because I know the cold weather can do that. <clears throat> okay. If you are here, whoever you are, thousands and thousands of people would have died in this prison. Probably just on this wing alone. Forget the rest of the prison. People would have been murdered. They would have been cut, stabbed, strangled, you name it. It would have all gone on. And if there's any prisoners here who did die, if you can hear me and you can see me, come over and talk to me if you can. Don't do me, don't do me ugly is, is all I'm going to say. Okay? You don't need to... You don't need to do anything bad to me, okay? You don't need to alter any clothing. It's just leave me be. Just come and talk to me, man to man, face to face. If you want to shake my hand, that's fine. You can do. I'm trying to talk to you like a, a civilised human being. I'm not here to judge you in any way for what you've done. I'm not about that. I just want to know what it's like on the other side. Come on, do it again. You're a coward. I'm not here to harm you, ridicule you. I'm not here to judge you. I'm only here. I've travelled many, many miles and many hours just to communicate with you. And all you can do is make disembodied footsteps, slam doors. You won't do it when I'm in the middle of it, we'll do it at a distance. Please. Right, man. For all you guys at home, you can't see this, it's getting cold. Freezing cold. I mean, I'm, I'm cold anyway, but this jacket's good. And it's getting cold, the temperature's dropping. Are you making the temperature drop? Speak to me, please. Are you male? Are you female? I just heard something. Is that you? Again? Can you make that sound? <laughs> fuck <Fucking> shit. <sighs> oh, fuck. Right, the door has just landed, that one's still open. That one's still open. Well, it wasn't down there, but that one's still open. Right. Uh, right. That. I was standing here and that door there slammed. And it's still open. It did not move. You'd have heard that because it was bloody loud. And there is no one in here. There's no one behind the door. There's no one in here. And that happened. I heard some like little light rattling. And then that was it. Well, thank you for that. Can you do it again? Can you make that sound again? Slam this door, but physically slam it.
Okay. I've got footsteps on both sides. Stop now. One from one side, one from the other side. Are you ganging up on me? Do you want... Are you pushing me in this cell? Well, I'm in the cell. Come on then. Close the door. If you think you can. to myself. Fuck. Fuck. Right then. Fuck, the door just fucking slammed. I'm, I'm panicking a little bit because I'm trying to get everything in fucking order because again, if there's no one in these rooms, I know I keep showing you these rooms, but I need you to be with me here. Fuck, which room was it? You bastard. You absolute bastard. Oh, I guess get this shit out. I thought that wasn't going to open then. See, all these doors, there's no one in any of these, but you know that. There's just no one here. What's the purpose of trying to lock me in or shut the door without locking me in? Do you want me to see where you were? How you... I'll go back in here. Come on, slam that door again. I don't know why I'm doing this, because if that locks, I can't get out. I'm absolutely fucked. Do you want me to know what it was like in this room? Well, I don't need to know what it was like in this room. I haven't committed the crimes that you committed. Right, let's go and sit down in a cell. And then I can stop moving around and it's so difficult to see what's going on. Okay, so we've got the toilet there. Oh, my goodness. It's just nice just to have your arms and your hands free of carrying stuff around. Oh, that feels good. That feels so good. Oh. I've got a trapped nerve um, in my neck and it's going down. Um, my right arm, so that's why I've just placed the camera there, just to, just to free me up. I've got ski pants on, so the rustling, that's what that is, it's my pants because it's so cold. Shut this door. Shut this door. <laughs> some traffic just on the outside over there. Okay. There are houses just over the distance. If you can see me in this cell Because there's no, there's no map. 
napkins on the floor upstairs. Maybe it wasn't designed for a bed. Maybe this was just a, a holding cell. There's some description. I'm just looking for any markings anyway. 